Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. This time around, let us relieve the 2015 National Finals for MMC Grade 6 Easy Round. In the Easy Round, participants are not allowed to use scratch paper. Each item must be answered in 15 seconds and the final answer must be written on an answer sheet before the time expires. Before we continue, please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills videos. Question number one. A group of children arrange themselves into a circle. From Kathy and counting clockwise, Lisa is the eighth child. From Kathy and counting counterclockwise, Lisa is the thirteenth child. How many children are there in all? Again, a group of children arrange themselves into a circle. From Kathy and counting clockwise, Lisa is the eighth child. From Kathy and counting counterclockwise, Lisa is the thirteenth child. How many children are there in all? Go! Time is up. Let us see your answer. It's 19. Next, question number 2. From 1, take away 3 tenths 3 times and 2 hundreds 2 times. What do you get? From 1, take away 3 tenths 3 times and 2 hundreds 2 times. What do you get? Go! Time is up. What is the answer? It's 0 0.06 or 600. Next, question number 3. What is the value of A, B, and C in the following addition? A, 8C plus 2B, 4 equals 862. What is the value of A, B, and C in the following addition? A H C plus two B four equals eight hundred sixty two. Go. <coughs> Time is up. What is the answer? A is five. B is 7 and C equals 8. Question number 4. When the number of hours left in a day is 3 times the number of hours that have passed, how many hours have passed in the day? Again, when the number of hours left in a day is 3 times the number of hours that have passed, how many hours have passed in a day? Go. Time is up. What is your answer? It's six. Six R's. Question number five. Three consecutive numbers have a sum equal to 333. What is the second number? Again, three consecutive numbers have a sum equal to 333. What is the second number? Go. Is up the answer is 111 question number six 
A box contains socks in five different colors. Without looking, what is the minimum number of socks that you must randomly pick from the box to be sure that there are at least two socks of the same color? Again, a box contains socks in five different colors. Without looking, what is the minimum number of socks that you must randomly pick from the box to be sure that there are at least two socks of the same color? Go! Time is up. What is the answer? Six. Next question number seven. Four numbers on a calendar are enclosed by a square. What is the difference of the sum of the numbers on the left and the sum of the numbers on the right? Again, four numbers on a calendar are enclosed by a square. What is the difference of the sum of the numbers on the left and the sum of the numbers on the right. Go! Time is up. The answer is 2. Question number 8. A rectangular prism has dimensions 5 cm, 4 cm, and 7 cm. It was cut into two identical prisms so that the surface area of each piece is the smallest. What are the dimensions of each piece? Again, a rectangular prism has dimensions 5 cm, 4 cm, and 7 cm. It was cut into two identical prisms so that the surface area of each piece is the smallest. What are the dimensions of each piece? Go! Time is up. What is the answer? 5 cm, 4 cm, and 3.5 cm. Next, question number 9. Olivia has swimming class every Tuesday and Thursday. Their first meeting was on a Thursday. How many days from then was their 8th meeting? Olivia has swimming class every Tuesday and Thursday. The first meeting was on a Thursday. How many days from then was their 8th meeting? Go! Time is up. Let us see the answer. 26 days. Last question for this round. Claire made a special die with numbers 3 to 8 such that the sum of opposite faces is always 11. What is the product of the numbers on the faces adjacent to the face marked 7? Again, Claire made a special die with numbers 3 to 8 such that the sum of the opposite faces is always 11. What is the product of the numbers on the faces adjacent to the face marked 7? Go! Time is up. What is the answer? 720. Did you get all 10? This time, let us discuss the answers to the 10 items, 15 second questions. Question number one. We have a group of children from Kathy. Lisa is the eight, counting clockwise. And from Kathy, Lisa is the 13, counting clockwise counterclockwise so there are 18 13 children 
We need to subtract 2 because Lisa and Kathy were counted twice. So the final answer is 19. Next question number 2. From 1, take away 3 tenths 3 times and 2 hundreds 2 times. So from 1, we subtract 3 times 0.3. Again, subtract 2 times 0 0.02. So we get 1 minus 3 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.9, 2 times 0 0.02 is 0 0.04, so that is 1 minus 0 0.94 or 94 hundreds, so the answer is 6 hundreds, 0 0.06. Next, what is the value of A, B, and C? To have a unit digit of 2, 8 must be added to 4. So C is equal to 8. And then with the carry of 1 from the previous, plus 8, that would be 9. B must be 7 to have a unit's digit of 6. So B is 7. And then from there, with the carry of 1 from the previous, plus 2, that would be 3. So then 5 must be added to have a sum of 8. So A equals 5. A equals 5, B equals 7, and C equals 8. Question number 4. Let N be the number of hours that have passed in a day. So 3N is the number of hours that are left, still left in a day. There is a total 24 hours in a day, so we have 3N plus N equals 24. 4N equals 24, divide both sides by 4, we get n equals 6. So, 6 hours have already passed in the day. Question number 5. To get the 3 consecutive numbers, we divide 333 by 3. So, that will be 111 and that will be the middle. These are consecutive numbers. So, the first one is 110 and the last is 112. If you add this, you get 333. Therefore, the second number is 111. Number 6. Consider the worst case scenario. That is, you already picked 5 of different colors. So, on the 6th pick, it would be sure that it will be of the same color as one of the first 5. So the answer is 6. Next, question number 7. For numbers, let us consider the extreme case that on a month's calendar, the first day falls on a Sunday. So we have something like this. 1 and 8, sum up to 9. 2 and 9, sum up to 11. And the same thing holds true with the other uh, pairs of numbers. So, 11 minus 9 is 2. Question number 8. A rectangular prism has dimensions 5 cm, 4 cm, and 7 cm. The possible identical cuts are 2.5 cm, 4 cm, 7 cm. Cutting on the 5 cm side. And then 5 cm, 2 cm, and 7 cm. Cutting on the 4 cm side. Also, 5 cm, 4 cm, and 3.5 cm. That's cutting on the 7 cm side. Compute for the surface areas. So, the smallest surface area is 103. The dimensions are 5 cm, 4 cm, 3.5 cm. Question number 9. Olivia has swimming class every Tuesday and Thursday. Their first meeting was on a Thursday. How many days from then was their eighth meeting? So from Thursday to Saturday, that's two days, equivalent to one meeting. And then three weeks from there will be 21 days, and that will be six meetings. And then from Sunday to Tuesday, that will be three days, one meeting a total of eight meetings so the number of days is 26 
Question number 10. Let us draw the net of the die. So we have 7 and 4 on the opposite faces, 5 and 6, also 3 and 8, so that the sum of opposite faces is always 11. So the numbers that are adjacent to that face marked 7 are those faces with numbers 3, 6, 8, and 5. Multiplying, we get 720. That is all. Please subscribe for more Mad Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos.